A best friend is a godsend. Ding dong! Oh, you are finally here. Take your shoes off and come in. I'm just making lunch. Oops, I'm wearing white socks. Don't you have slippers for your guests? Um, how about some oven mitts? Put silicone oven mitts on your feet like this. Not bad. Rubber ballet flats are trendy. They are an excellent replacement for slippers and your white socks will stay white. There are days when you don't want anything. Maybe your blood sugar is low. Would you like a peach or some berries? Maybe at least a strawberry? Are you sure you are my friend? I don't think I've ever heard you say no to food. You will need a few pieces of bread. Toast them. Take Nutella and cottage cheese. Apply the toppings on the bread. Slice fruit and berries. Decorate the toast. In order to cheer your friend up, lay the pieces out to form animal faces and funny birds. The sight of funny sandwiches makes your friend come to life. They are all so cute. I don't know which one to choose. I guess I'll take a bird. Fruit toast will give you your daily dose of vitamins, glucose, and good spirits. Plus, it's just plain delicious. Some movies are impossible to watch all the way through. I've never seen a less interesting plot. Can I sleep on your lap for a while? Oops, my friend's leggings have a huge makeup imprint on them. What was I thinking? Don't worry about it. Look what I came up with. Spread a piece of black fabric on a pillow. Press your nose on the pillow and leave a mark on the fabric. How do you like this sketch? It looks like a ghost from a horror movie. Let's see what your face can do. My friend leaves her imprint and wow, what is this monster? I never expected to see anything like this. Just look at this beauty. Are you sure this is my face? I love cookies, but something's mm -hmm. wrong with my tooth. It really hurts. Poor thing. Let's go to the dentist. No, absolutely not. Okay, can I borrow your phone for a minute? Take a phone case and a Ziploc bag. Draw a tooth with a marker. Cut out a double layer of plastic. Wrap it in paper and seal the edges with a flat iron. Leave a small hole in the upper part. Fill it with stuffing and beads with letters. Use a pipette to pour in colored water. Seal the gap. Take a colored cord. Hot glue it around the outline of the tooth. Make a few rows around the tooth. Attach it to the case with hot glue. Return the phone with its new case to your friend. Well, look, what a relevant decoration. And this is not just a nice tooth, but also a great stress reliever. Believe me, it doesn't hurt to treat your teeth at all. Plus, a soft tooth on your phone case will help you calm down while you are waiting for the dentist. And your friend lights up the world again with her million dollar smile. Hey, what are you reading? Just a regular novel. Wow, what an original pendant. Is this a pizza? Yes, and I have a slice for you too. You will need white polymer clay and a lid. Roll the clay ball and put it on the lid. Make a thin sausage and make a crust. Form sections with the tip of a skewer. Cut it in a zigzag. Paint it the color of creamy tomato sauce. Add stripes of ketchup. Cut salami and mushrooms out of pieces of colored clay. Place the toppings on the pizza. Make holes with an awl. Insert rings. Attach the pendants to chains. People can give half a heart to anyone, but you can only give half a pizza to your best friend. Now you are two halves of the same pizza. Do you have a friendship this strong? Do you want to be a food blogger? 
These photos are boring. Everyone takes pics like these. You need something bright and memorable. My friend bites off some shawarma. Lay on the sofa. Place the plate with food and choose the right angle. A friend wrap. That's what you need. You look delicious. Here's an idea for a sweet pastry. Sit on your knees and pull your hand forward. Now you are not just my friend, but also the captain of a cream dessert. Captain, hold on tighter. Now you really have something to look at in your feed. These pictures deserve a thousand likes. My friend has been in a weird mood all day. What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about this guy. Isn't he handsome? Yeah, have I seen him before? Isn't he your neighbor? Yes, I just don't know how to talk to him. Well, invite him for a cup of coffee. Coffee? Actually, that's not a bad idea. You'll need a piece of paper and a pen. Write a note. Hi, let's get to know each other. Fold the paper. Take thread and a paper cup. Place the note in the glass. Pour coffee beans in it. Wrap a napkin around the glass. Tie it. Write the word open on the napkin. Lower the glass on a rope to the handsome man who lives on the floor below. Oh, is this for me? He opens the note. He got the message. And now he's waiting outside. Ah, I'm so nervous. Don't be scared. Everything will go just fine. Coffee really brings people closer. Makeup is a delicate thing, especially when the friends have one set of makeup for the two of them. There is a way out. Let's make beauty dice. Cut out two dice layouts from sheets of thick paper. Get round chips and colorful markers. Draw an eye on a chip. Paint the upper eyelid blue. Draw eyes with green, pink, and yellow shadows. Let's add fingers with colored nails and multicolored lips. Attach pictures to each side of the dice. Assemble the cubes. Well, shall we play? The rules are simple. Throw the cubes on the table. Look at the dice and apply your makeup accordingly. So, let's begin. Green lips and yellow eyelids. Simple and elegant. Is it your friend's turn? Green nails and blue eyeshadow. Not bad. Let's see what happens. The friends put their makeup on without having to fight over it. Let's see the results. Whoa! We look intense! Of course, we can't go to work looking like this, but it is definitely good for a selfie. I love nights when you can just sit and chat with a friend. Oh wait, there's a cork in this bottle. Is there a corkscrew in this house? No, but I have some high heels. Well, how will they help us? Use a sharp heel to push the cork inside the bottle. That's it, bring the glasses. Well, here's to a wonderful evening. And of course, to high heels. And for the next idea, you need shaving foam. Draw white fluffy eyebrows, a mustache, and a beard. Call your friend on FaceTime. Oh, what happened to you? It's a foam party. You look like Santa Claus. Where are you, reindeer? That's very funny. I'll do anything to cheer up my best friend. I hate being sick. Pills, coughing, napping all day? Oh, I think your crush is calling you. He shouldn't see me like this. Take a bright picture off the wall. Put it behind your friend's head. Straighten her hair. Choose a filter that will hide your appearance. You can also experiment with masks. Oh, it's ringing again. Well, I'm ready to take this one. 
My friend is having a good nap. So it's time for a prank. You will need colored hair extensions, hairpins, and wire. Separate a strand and attach the wire to it. Secure the wire with an elastic band. Twist your hair in a spiral. Fasten a hairpin to the edge. Make a lot of strands. Sneak up on your friend. Attach the strands to her hair. Done! Time to wake up! Oh no! What happened to my hair? The prank works best if your friend wakes up right in front of a mirror. Why is my hair like this? I don't understand. Ah! So it was your fault. Now you are in trouble. Did you like our ideas? How do you spend time with your best friend? Comment below. And don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss all the newest and most interesting things on Troom Troom Select.